Hey everybody, Jack Clips Painting with part two on our cool little demon guy from Scale 75. And today we're going to focus on mixing some color into your metallics for some cool looks. And he's got these cool gauntlets and plate armor leggings. I, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but uh, I'm taking some Scale 75 black metal, putting that on my palette, and then taking some black paint, just like two drops. You don't want to overdo it when you mix some matte colors into your metallics, just a little bit to change the pigment there. Mixing those up, and that's what we're going to base coat this dude's armor in. And we take that kind of dark gunmetal color that black metal is, and we darken it down significantly into a much darker kind of black metallic. Next, I'm going to take some thrash metal. I just wanted this dude's uh, kind of cyber skeleton spine thing. I wanted it to be a really shiny metal. And I really like the Scale 75 metallics. Uh, they're the only ones I use these days after uh, getting them a couple of years ago. I just really haven't found anything that I like better. I know other people say there's other good metallics out there, but honestly, these are the best ones I've ever used. So if you ask me what metallics should I pick up? I'm going to tell you scale 75 every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Like they're, they're that good. And it just makes painting metallics on models, just a breeze. And I'm all about efficiency. So that's why I keep using them. And I especially like how these metals look with a matte finish on them. When I finish models, they, they just, they keep that really nice metallic luster without being overly shiny. And they just look amazing with a matte coat. So that's why I keep using them really. Next, I'm gonna take that coal black by itself and just black out a few areas on the model. Uh, I kind of want this guy to have some painted areas and some areas that are more of a rubber texture when we get into doing the highlights and stuff. It's not really the focus of this video since I want to talk about uh, mixing pigments into your metallics. This is just a step that I decided I would show in the video because I want this missile backpack that he's got and some of the other areas to be different textured. So for the backpack, when we get into highlighting him up, it's going to be uh, like painted metal we're going to do some paint chipping and things like that in the final stages and then the joints in his armor i want to be more of a rubber texture and we'll highlight that up to show that later on next we're going to work in some gold highlights this guy and i want kind of a unique color i want it to be very yellow gold so i'm going to take some of our necro gold from scale 75 which is a darker kind of black gold. And again, I'm going to take just two or three drops of a yellow paint, in this case, golden yellow from Pro Acryl, but you can use whatever paints you want. And I'm just mixing that into our Necro Gold to get it this really nice kind of lusterless yellow gold. That's the only word I can think of is lusterless. It takes a lot of the shine out of it and it just creates this really nice kind of yellow gold like a yellow ochre gold that is a really cool contrasting color to this super super dark black metal and we're just gonna highlight up some of those detail areas so you can see i did those things on his feet the little rim around the uh, missiles on his backpack and some of the accent pieces on his armor just to give it a really cool kind of lusterless yellow gold look I, like again i don't really know how to describe it otherwise but we will highlight it up to be more shiny and more yellowy in the later stages but i just wanted to show you guys cool ways to change the colors on your metallics <laughs> 